Welcome to Gemara Academy. In this class, we will learn Taisa's Dibra Maschal at Sad Nachash. Let's begin by looking at the flowchart of the Gemara so we can see what part of the Gemara Taisa will be explaining. Here we said that we presented the teaching of Shmuel that anywhere throughout the dinam of Shabbos, where it says Pater, it means Pater but Asr, except for three times where it's Pater and Mutter. And that is Hatzad Svi, Hatzad Nachash, and Mephis Morsa. If a person trapped a deer, if a person trapped a snake, or if a person popped a boil. Those are the three cases where it says Pater and it means Pater and Mutter. That's the part of the Gemara that Tesis will come to explain. Here's a general outline of Tesis. The Gemara to- presented the teaching of Shmuel that Hatzad Nachash is Pater and Mutter. Tesis will present an apparent contradiction to this teaching of Shmuel. Let's begin. Shmuel taught that in the case of Atzad Nachash, the person is Pater and Mutter for capturing the snake. The Baal Alachas of Daedalus asks that it seems that Shmuel is contradicting himself. What's the contradiction? Because over here it comes out that Shmuel holds Malachas Shein Tzrich Gufa is Pater. Because why is it that the person who trapped the deer, uh, trapped the snake, why is it that it's Pater and Mutter? It should be Chai if he did a Malacha. The answer is that it's a combination of two things that bring it to be Mutter. Number one, it's Malacha Shein Tzrich Gufa. And Rabbi Shimon holds that Malacha Shein Tzrich Gufa is Pater. But then it should still be Usr. How does it become Mutter? Because of the Tzar to the person that it gets from the snake, it therefore, be, it therefore is mutter. So here we see that Shmuel says Tzad Nachash is pater and mutter. It results from his opinion that Malach HaShem Tzrich Lagufa is pater. But on the other hand, in Perakir we said that, Malach, that Shmuel holds that Malach HaShem Tzrich Lagufa is chayev. It says over there that when it comes to Dav HaShem Miskaven, there Shmuel holds, like Rabbi Shimon, that it's pater. When it comes to Malach HaShem Tzrich Lagufa, there, there Shmuel holds, like Rabbi Huda, that it's chayev. So in Atzad Nachash it seems that Shmuel holds Malach HaShem Tzrich Gufa is Pater, and that's why it could become Mutter. And in Perakir, we clearly said that Shmuel holds Malach HaShem Tzrich Gufa is Chayev. Taisus answers, he brings an answer from Rabbeinu Tam, that when Shmuel said that Atzad Nachash is Pater and Mutter, he wasn't saying that he holds its Pater and Mutter. He was just saying that when the Mishnah says Pater, it, it's proven that it must mean Pater and Mutter, and that has to be based on the opinion of Rabbi Shimon, although he himself doesn't agree with it. So in other words, it comes out that Shmuel was saying Atzad Nachash, the case of the Mishnah of Atzad Nachash, where it says Pater, it must mean Pater and Mutter, and therefore it has to fit with the opinion of Rabbi Shimon. That Mishnah goes with Rabbi Shimon, but he himself disagrees with Rabbi Shimon. He also like Rabbi Huda, that Malach HaShem Tzrich Gufa is Chayev. Taisus now concludes and tells us the actual din of Malach HaShem Tzrich Gufa, and he says the din is that it's Pater, and the reason is because Rava, who was a later opinion than Shmuel, ruled that Malach HaShem Tzrich Gufa is Pater. 